In all sports, referees play a crucial role, and of course, the job is tough. No referee is gonna get every call right, and in some sports, competition is at an all-time high, so there really is a small window of error referees can make. NBA, however, it's at a higher level. They can literally decide games just by the calls they make. The game of basketball is so fast-paced that it's easy to miss calls. Referees have just as much spotlight as the players. You can see them running up and down the court with the players surveying every move waiting to make a call. In basketball, the referees are more active compared to any other sport. Over time, players can form certain relationships with referees and they can help them get more calls than others. But there are some calls in NBA history that are just terrible and make no sense. In this video, we'll be going over the top 7 worst referee calls in NBA history. But before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below. We appreciate everyone watching our videos. Now let's get on to the list. Number 1 the teammate foul. Alright, let's set the scene. It was the Detroit Pistons versus the Orlando Magic at the Palace of Auburn Hills. So the Magic have the ball and guard Keon Dueling is driving to the paint. He does a spin move and then he bumps in his own teammate and somehow draws a shooting foul. He literally drove to the paint and bumps into Marcin Gortat, his teammate, and was able to draw a foul from that. That makes no sense. If I'm a Pistons player or a coach, I would literally lose my mind at that point. I don't know what exactly the referees were thinking, but the only thing I can think of is maybe they're just so used to blowing the whistle after seeing contact that it happened by instinct. But regardless, you have to review that and change the call because uh, that is not okay. Number two the shortest three-pointer. So I think if you're watching this video, you're able to differentiate a two-pointer from a three-pointer, right? Well, not this ref. He literally had the best angle when it comes to viewing Damian Lillard and Deron Williams on this possession. Dame dribbles in and a few steps into the three-point line, he makes a shot. Obviously, it's a two-pointer just by the eye test, but this highly trained, highly paid referee called it as a three-pointer. I'm sure all the statisticians at the game were super confused. The crazy part is that this play wasn't even reviewed. At no point was this bucket reviewed to change it back to a two-pointer. So for Damian Lillard, he had one more point in his career than he actually has. Number three the zero point play. So for this call, it was when the Raptors were against the Kings. It was a very close game. The Kings were up by six with just under 30 seconds to go. But Kyle Lowry made his way to three point line for a catch and shoot opportunity. And when he got the ball, he nailed a three with the whistle. Now naturally, you would think he got fouled and it's a four point play. But nope, this referee decided to call an offensive foul on Lowry. What? An offensive foul? When Lowry went up for the jumper, his legs kicked out very slightly, but that's normal for all shooters. Definitely not intentional and does not constitute an offensive foul, but he was both for an offensive foul anyway, for that little petty reason. And of course that foul frustrated Lowry, so the refs threw him a technical foul in addition and kicked him out of the game. But the thing is, Lowry just ran away after the play. He didn't really cause a scene, he didn't have a temper tantrum, and it was no reason for him to get kicked out and get a technical. But the referees kicked him out anyway, and all for that terrible call. So not only did he get screwed over on the call, he also got fined for the technical and ejected. I mean, if you think about it, nowadays players like James Harden go out of their way to draw contact and a foul, but Lowry got ejected for it. It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, that call alone changed the game completely and took away all possibility for the Raptors to come back. Number four, no high fives. For this weird call, it's between two teammates. In front of this referee, you have to be careful when it comes to displaying support for your teammate. In this playoff game between the Clippers and Grizzlies, Reggie Evans goes up for the finish and bumps into a defender, drawing a foul. After he drew the foul, his teammate Blake Griffin gave him a high five, something very, very normal. But apparently, a high five is not allowed with this ref who gave both Griffin and Evans technical fouls. Nobody at all knew why a technical foul was given out. The two are literally in disbelief as anyone else would be. I don't know what this referee was thinking. Number five, slap fight. This one is just the perfect depiction of how bad these refs can be. Vince Carter and Mo Peterson are boys off the court. But in the middle of a game when they're playing each other, Vince Carter decides to slap Mo on the face. It wasn't anything serious though. Again, they're friends off the court. But still, you're a grown man and you just got slapped in the face in front of hundreds of thousands of people to see. So of course Mo's gonna respond. And he did with the very light slap back that didn't even do anything. Yet the referees called a technical foul on Mo. They clearly missed Carter who started it. Peterson was so distraught and mad, he caused a scene and eventually got thrown out of the game. So this little playful banner ended up in a player seriously getting ejected and having to pay that fine. Looking back at it, I'm sure Vince and Mo laugh about it today. Number six. Bro, what? When it comes to one of the worst referees of all time, Ken Maurer has to be on that list. And this moment here solidified it. So it's the Spurs versus Timberwolves and Richard Jefferson has the ball and draws a foul on Darko Milicic. It looked like a pretty obvious foul, but Darko was not a fan of the call and appeared very frustrated. And that's okay because that happens sometimes. Some other Wolves players were angry too, but it was nothing extreme enough to constitute a technical foul. But referee Ken Maurer gave a technical foul to Darko and Corey Brewer. Brewer barely did anything, so it didn't make any sense for him to receive one. Then Timberwolves head coach Kurt Rambis freaks out too, and he didn't hide his emotions at all. So how does Ken Maurer respond? by giving Rambis two instant technical fouls 
forcing him to be ejected from the game. Everyone in the stadium is confused and wondering what the heck is going on. So in 10 seconds, Maurer has given 4 technical fouls. Then about 20 seconds later, Kevin Love goes up to grab a rebound, he got hit on the way down, and calls out for a foul but he didn't get it. Of course he was frustrated, it was a no call, and Maurer again stopped the game to call his 5th technical foul this time on love. That's a new record and everyone can't help but laugh at this ridiculousness. But throughout all of this, Ken Mara was unfazed. Just cruel. Number 7. Not the time. So earlier in the video, I stated that referees can determine the outcome of a game just by their officiating. Well, it happened at the worst time possible, the NBA Finals. Lakers vs Pistons. The bad boys Pistons were known to be a tough physical team led by center Bill Lambeer and Isaiah Thomas. They made it all the way to the finals in 1988. The Pistons were up 3-2 and the game was close in the fourth quarter. All the Pistons have to do is maintain a lead to become the new champions of the league. But the refs had other plans. With 27 seconds left in the game and the Pistons up 1, the Lakers gave it to their go-to man, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He goes off for his patented sky hook and he misses the shot, but he gets a foul call. You see, the problem is, there was no foul, like at all. There was barely any contact and definitely not enough for a foul to be called in the NBA Finals. Kareem ended up making both free throws and the Lakers ended up winning the game. They won in game 7 too. So that's right, this one foul call costed the Pistons a whole championship. Shame on the refs, man. And on that note, we're gonna end the list of the 7 worst referee calls in NBA history. If I missed any calls, comment it down below. Thank you all for watching, be sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like.